What is up Goon Squad? Welcome back to the channel. So we have been running around, we've been doing a little bit of the shop build, a little bit of the Hellcat build, but we finally got the Hellcat completely sanded. Other than the fenders and also the front bumper, which we're gonna take care of today. So we're gonna go ahead and put the fenders on the car, sand them, and also scuff the front bumper and head towards the paint booth. So now that we got the front fenders on, they're bolted on really tight, they're ready to get sanded. And also we pulled out the front bumper here. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this first. I don't have a scuff pad, but the alternative to that is using a 500 or a 400 grit, whatever you have in your hand and uh, wet sand it. We're gonna go ahead and wet sand the whole bumper. I have a few minor imperfections here that I'm gonna go ahead and fix with some putty. And uh, we're gonna get started and start sanding. Now the entire Hellcat is 100% done with the sanding process. Everything looks really good. I'm really excited about that. That was a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of man hours goes into sanding to get that pristine paint job. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the hood, pop the trunk lid on, screw everything on nice and tightly, and wash this car completely down with water. We wanna get all the contaminants off of it before we head to the paint booth. So we are, of course, gonna roll up the windows, so you do have to have at least one panel. I think. Will that one roll up? Yeah. Nice. We're going to have to roll them up because we are going to give this thing a complete detail pretty much. Get rid of all this dust. Clean the wheel wells underneath because when you're painting you don't want any dust or any sort of debris oh. flying around. So we got that taken care of. Oh no, we don't have any handles. Luckily, We're locked out. We're yeah, locked out. It's locked. There's no way you can open it from this side like some cars. Pretty smart with their uh, thing. You just pop it in there look at that that's pretty much how we're gonna get the car in and out of the paint booth pretty much without having to uh roll the windows down but now we rolled the windows up and now we're ready to pretty much clean after we remove the hood and put on the rear trunk So we are also going to go ahead and remove our old hood hinges because we got some new ones and those are in the way so get rid of them and put on the new ones once the hood is ready to get put back on after the paint job. It is ready for the wash now, officially. Got everything, we're just gonna wash it with the, we're just gonna try to avoid the engine, but we may actually just kinda oh, shine it up. Spray, we gotta spray it down. A lot of people say the alternator could go bad, but Man, I, I, I think that's a myth. Heard, Let I've me know in the comments wash, section, yeah. I've been washing cars, pressure washing them. Nothing, nothing. Never had one go bad on us, so maybe today is our lucky day. I don't know, but. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and clean this whole thing up. Make sure it's nice and clean, 100% ready for the paint booth. Yep, we wanna go ahead and rinse it all down. I'm gonna get the water hose and I'm just gonna rinse everything for a good minute, try to get all the dirt under the wheel wells, in the engine bay, and all the little cracks and stuff. We want this to be 100% because we're trying to do a paint job with as minimum contamination as possible in the paint work, so. Prep gonna, work is the most important, yeah, so. Prep work is the most important to get any paint job perfect, so we're gonna try our best.
All right, so we got this car completely cleaned. It is ready to head to the shop. All we gotta do is load it up onto the trailer and we just need to head there and then prepare it from there on. And also the other day, we did get some more work done to the shop. The footage is right here. So we framed up both of the garage doors and also the entry door, which the shop is coming along just fine. We are just bouncing around from car to shop, so it's a little bit hard to get a lot done at once, but we are getting some progress here. As you can see, come on in, guys. Hey, nice shop. Wow, it looks good in here. Yes, sir. Next thing is to put up the walls. We need to do some framing on this end and on that end also, but as soon as the walls go up, man, it is game on. All right, guys, it is time. We're headed to the shop. We're grabbing all of our supplies. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry, so we're grabbing as much stuff as we can. So we're about to put all of our supplies in the truck and then load the car up on the trailer and head straight to the paint booth. So a good buddy of ours actually let us borrow his low-profile trailer. I think that's what you'd call it. It's really low to the ground, which is going to make it a breeze for us to load and unload. So we're going to go ahead and drop the ramps and load up the car. Also went ahead and removed the headlights because we're not going to need any overspray on them so we went ahead and took them off that way just to be on the safe side. Alrighty guys so we get it all strapped up, got our bumpers there, got a little stand, everything is ready to go. Let's go to the paint booth. We have arrived here. We're gonna go ahead and unload it and go into the paint booth. We're using a different paint booth than last time. Yes, sir. This thing looks like a cow right now, but we're gonna take care of that today. We got burning rubber already. Look at this, this is a nice booth, it's all, this one works great from what I hear, so I'm about to put it to the test. What do you think of it? I'm excited to paint. Excited to paint I'm something new? I'm excited to paint this car. Right. Oh, we, did, we forgot to mention the roof, what we're gonna do with it. Yeah, the roof, uh, we're not gonna paint it today, we're probably gonna paint it uh, later. If we, can not, if we can't buff it out, we're gonna paint it later because exactly. there is a few scratches here. I just don't wanna go ahead and paint the roof with the whole entire car because it's gonna be you know, tough. It's gonna be pretty it's tough. It's a lot better to just paint it separate, so. Yeah, but there is a few scratches here. I might be able to get out with the buffer, so I'm gonna hold off on this, jump on that after we paint the car. When we start buffing the whole car, I'm gonna go ahead and buff this. Yes, sir. We should be good. Let's go grab all of our other supplies and get right into it, start Let's taping it. it up. We got all of our stuff here. We're ready to start taping this car up. We got here pretty late, so we're gonna jump right into it, try to get this thing taped up and get ready to spray. Before we get started taping, our main issue right now is trying to fit everything in here, the front bumper and the rear bumper where it's comfortable to spray. And it's not too tight of a squeeze, so we're trying to figure something out. The front bumper is gonna be here. The car is pretty much set in the correct position where you can walk around there. But this rear bumper here, we can't forget about it. So the thing that we're probably gonna do is go ahead and stick the rear bumper onto the car right now and we are gonna continue taping up the rest of the car, which is gonna take a bunch of time. One of the most time consuming parts of prepping for paint, but let's get it knocked out.
guys. So he is doing the last piece of tape. We got it pretty much completely taped up real nice. And the next thing to do is probably gonna go ahead and wax and grease remove the whole car, right? mixing room right now we're about to mix up some paint for the Hellcat so it's really simple it's just two parts of it so we're gonna go ahead and start mixing the base coat All right, it is go time. He's putting on his paint suit. We're about to actually seal the front bumper and throw some Bulldog on it first. That way it helps prevent the rock chips and the adhesion is really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the adhesion promoter in the sealer. All right, so he's about to cut on the fans, but before we spray anything, you always want a tack cloth. Use a tack cloth. We got a couple tack cloths here. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of all that. We're gonna go ahead and fill up this jar of sealer and uh, we're gonna spray that front bumper with it. But first we're gonna spray the bulldog and then the sealer. All right, so the adhesion promoter and the sealer went down nice and smooth, and we are ready for the next stage here, which is gonna be base coat. So we're gonna let that dry a little bit, and then we're gonna get ready to spray, man. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and mix up the paint. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and actually tack cloth the whole entire car once more, because we did spray some sealer, and there could have been a little bit of overspray, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. So we went ahead and threw our first base coat on the front bumper and also all the primer areas. So we got that taken care of. It's drying for a little bit and now we're mixing up the second base coat and we're gonna go ahead and throw a coat on everything here. Probably gonna do two coats, right? What do you think? This just depends. But here goes the second coat right here, guys.
All right, so we just threw three coats of base. Now we are actually gonna try out a brand new DeVille Best gun for the clear coat. Thanks to V-Tuned. Yeah, thanks to V-Tuned. Wants me to test it out pretty test much. Test it out, it's brand new. He never used it. So I'm gonna give it a try. We're gonna test this sucker out. Looks really good. It's and we're gonna slick it in. Alrighty guys, it is officially time for some clear coat. We're gonna go ahead and mix it up and then we are going to spray, man. Probably just gonna do two coats of clear or how many? Just depends. Just depends on how it looks, how it goes. So let's get it, man. guys it is looking great just look at that we are mixing up some more clear coat we're using some high temp stuff that way it dries a little bit slower because we are painting a whole car here but it has turned out absolutely amazing the new gun is awesome which we've never used a gun like that but it is working great we're gonna go ahead and mix up some more clear probably throw a last this is gonna be the second but last thick clear coat right what do you say yeah, it just depends. Just, on how just pretty is. much, just slick it in. But I mean, other than that, look at that. It's slick. We just don't want to get any runs. And this is some slow curing stuff or slow drying stuff. So we got to be really careful in this situation. But we're gonna go ahead and throw a second coat, and it'll probably be the last. Well, we've been here for a while, but it's gonna be worth it, guys. All right, so we just threw the final third coat of clear coat on the car. It looks amazing. So we let it dry for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and untape everything before it fully cures, and then we'll call it a night. You got it all cleaned up. Car looks absolutely amazing, guys. It just, it just can't get any better than this. Slick, it is slick. So my phone's about to die, so we are going to catch you guys in the morning. Peace. Peace.
bumper here, last part. We got the car already loaded up and we'll catch you guys at the house. Finally made it back home with the Hellcat. The paint job looks absolutely great. Other than a few buffing areas that we have to buff, you know, specs here and there. Every paint job is not perfect, but this one is probably one of the best. It looks absolutely good. <laughs> Let's walk them around it, man. Walk Let's around walk them around it. it. Look, look at it. Look, 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 look just at look at the glass. Just look at the glass, man. It's clean. It's really clean. I like it. We painted with that rear bumper on there, and it turned out great, actually. Yep. Because there was a little gap there, which the clear coat actually made it in there. So, yeah, we did throw three yeah. coats of clear. Three coats so. of clear, so we're good at buffing. We can buff the whole car if we want to. It's it's really thick coats of clear. I can't believe we finally made it to this stage, man. Everything is painted. Next thing is to just start piecing everything together, start changing that dash. Yep. Once that dash gets in, we'll change the dash, man. It is coming together, guys. It's going to be very exciting. Exciting, exciting to man. See, to see the finished product, to yep. see the front end. I haven't really even seen this front end, you know, together yeah, yet. Man. So it's going to be awesome putting it together. So close, guys. It looks great. And where we changed the quarter panel here on this end. Where was it changed? I mean, can you Nowhere. tell me? Can you tell me Nowhere. where it was changed? Perfect body line. Yeah, you know? the body line is amazing. Thanks to my skills. Yes, sir. My yes, sir. Skills. Thanks to him amazing. and his artistic Bondo skills. But we took care of that. Black is a very hard color to get. We were talking to painters. The yeah. painter at the shop even mentioned it. He was like, oh, man, you guys are painting the whole car. Yeah. Yep, other than the roof. So that is a wrap for today's video. We finally got the whole entire car painted, man. We've been waiting for this for a long time and I know you have also, so here it is, guys. Before you know it, this car will be back together and hitting the drag strip. So with that being said, be sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram. We're gonna be going live, so be on the lookout for that. If you haven't, be sure to check out goonsquad.com, copy some merch, and support your boys. If you wanna support us, the link is down below. You can become a Patreon, and all the help is much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.